Amen. I just want to uh, give me like five, give me give me fifteen minutes of your time. Let me share the word of the Lord. And let me uh, because I have to do the prayer for us because many of you are going to work. Amen. But for those who can listen, let me share. The, let me just share and expose this very spirit a little bit. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Acts chapter 16. Let's quickly go there quickly. Acts chapter 16. Please stay awake. If you are feeling sleepy, go and drink some coffee or hot water quickly. Amen. I know we are still fasting. I told you just liquid only. Amen. And we are breaking at what? Six o'clock. Amen. Um, the, 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 the meetings, the events for the New York conference will be advertised shortly. The flyers have been prepared. Amen. In the next few days from now, the, the flyers will be out. Hallelujah. Amen. So please bear with us. Amen. The address, everything will be released so that those who are in New York can join us. Those who are around New York can join us. Hallelujah. In the East Coast, it's going to be a very powerful fire rise conference. There's going to be, we're going to be doing foot washing. Amen. Hallelujah. Every unclean spirit will leave you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We're coming with so much grace, so much power. Amen. Hallelujah. We're not coming alone. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> so, that will be the last, this will be the conference before we travel to India. Amen. We'll be going to India in December. Hallelujah. So for those who is joining us for the first time, you are welcome. Amen. My number, I'll give you my number and I'll give you the prayer line number. Amen. Hallelujah. Those who are watching us on Periscope. Hallelujah. The number for the prayer line is 952 955 9454. 955-9454. Area code is 952. Hallelujah. 952. God bless you. It's your first time. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And you also want to talk to me. Or you want to send me a text. You are dealing with such issues. You need some prayers. You need some help or some counseling. My number is 612-701-5983. Those on Periscope, if you can help me, just type it out so that those who can see it. Amen. 612 701 5983 612 Amen. I believe some people is out there to help me on Periscope. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Please be participant. Be 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 present. Amen. Hallelujah. Every time we darling, we come in every 5 a.m. in the morning. Amen. Monday to Saturday. Very bloody, very colossal. Amen. It's, it, it, it changes even the skin of your color. Amen. Hallelujah. If somebody tells you to help me. Help me, Frederick. Can you help me? Post it, the number. Hallelujah. 612. My number is 612-701-5983. 612-701-5983. My number. Amen. Uh, 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 my sister, Star. Can you help me post the number? Star. Can you help me post the number? Hallelujah. 612-701-5983. Prayer line number is 952-955-9454. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. If you're on Periscope, can you please post the number for me? Help me out. Help me out, please. Just post the number, 952. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay, you got it. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 955. Amen. Hallelujah. Please. Invite people. Amen. It's a serious matter. God released the mantle of deliverance. Hallelujah. One of the things the Lord said to us in the ministry, he said, if you mean business with us, if you miss business with me, he said, I mean business with you. Hallelujah. God said it to me. He said, if you mean business with me, I mean business with you. And we mean, we mean business with God right now. Amen. It is time to walk with God. Hallelujah. Somebody say it's time to walk with God. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 16. Let's quickly go there quickly. I just want to share and open something very quick. Hallelujah. It is necessary we get this word. Very necessary. Hallelujah. Zadi baradari bibios. Negedele bavili bibia baradosh. Acts chapter 16. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you the praise. Father, Lord, open your word today. Unravel this word before us. Lord, I pray that, Lord, as we eat this word, let it be like honey in our mouths. Let it be like honey in our mouth. Unfold our ears to hear your voice. As you spoke, so was I strengthened. Strengthen us. Strengthen us with grace today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Mondo Roboboto Shadabahaya. Acts chapter 16, verse 16. It came to pass as we. It came to pass 
as we went to prayer, a certain damsel Hallelujah. It came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us and brought her master's much gain by soothsaying. The word soothsaying, amen, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. The word soothsaying, amen, is a Greek word that says matyo, matyo mahi. Amen. Matthew Mahi. Hallelujah. To act, the, the word, the English word or the dictionary meaning means to act as a seer. To act as a seer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To act as a seer. The word, the word soothsayer means a, to, to be an oracle, a demonic oracle. Hallelujah. Or to prophesy. Amen. To divine, to speak. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you begin to speak, she foretells the future. Amen. Nowadays, people talk about psychic. Psychic. Psychic foretells. Hallelujah. Amen. Psyche foretells and whatever it is. Now, what you are seeing here is a soothsayer. She's a seer. She's able to foretell the future. Able to explain even your dreams. She has, she has, she has uh, uh, the wisdom that is not, that a perverted wisdom that seems like it's from God, but it's not from God. Amen. So, what you are seeing now, amen, hallelujah, but the word di divination comes from a root word called uh, piton, piton, piton. My goodness, my sister, you just joining us. You are you missed. You missed. Hallelujah. The prayers. You go on when you have the time, find the time again to go and really listen to the messages and the, the prayers. Powerful sessions. Amen. Hallelujah. The spirit of divination. Amen. Hallelujah. The spirit of divination is the word uh, 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 comes from the root word. Hallelujah. Come Python. Python. The word Python means Python. Amen. Hallelujah. Python. Amen. So we are seeing that. She brought much master, much gain to her masters. So much gain to her masters, meaning that she wasn't. Um, um, yes, she was gifted, but there were people who were using her. There were spirits who were using her. There were ruling spirits that put her in charge. There were city gatekeepers that was in charge that was using her, manipulating her, influencing her. Amen. And the Bible says that they brought much gain to her masters. The word saying, amen, hallelujah, means foretelling. The word saying means a seer, an oracle, a pro the person that prophesies, a diviner, hallelujah. And their major motive, why they do this, is because they're influenced by the serpent, hallelujah. Now, she met Paul, verse 17, in Acts chapter 16, she says, the same, amen, hallelujah, the same, uh, you know, the same followed Paul. And us and Christ saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which slew unto us the, the way of salvation. These are the servants of they say, These men are the servants of the Most High, which show us, us the way of salvation. Now, what she was doing was right, she was supporting the men of God. You see what is happening here. She is a woman, a woman that people will think that she's a Christian. But the Bible says that this woman was a prophet, was, she was prophesying. She was a seer. She was gifted. Amen? Hallelujah. But she was empowering some certain ministers, some certain court. She belonged to a court. She belonged to some people. Amen? Hallelujah. And when Paul came, a general, a man of God entered the city, a great revivalist entered the city, she began to support. She was supporting with the fund. She was announcing it to people. She was proclaiming the God. She was telling people, I, I even come to that revival. These are the men of God. Paul and Silas, Paul, my goodness, is very anointed. You have to go for that meeting. You, you, she was proclaiming that everybody needs to come. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, verse 18, she said this she did for many days. Amen. But Paul, being grieved, 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 turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus, come out of her. And the same hour, that spirit came out. You will expect that when the spirit came out, she'll be thankful. Revival will break out. But instead, when, does, when you focus and you deal with the root of that spirit, you will get a backlash. You will get an attention. You will get a reach from the powers of darkness. When you deal with the root of the spirit, instead, you begin to feel rage against, against you. Hallelujah. Some of you have prayed your prayers today. It's not, it's not the beginning. I want you to now to begin to take it very, very serious. You will see this scripture here. It says, when a master, look at it, look at what it says. 
verse 19. And when a master saw that the hope of her gains were gone, they caught Paul and Silas and threw them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrates, saying, These men, being Jews, do a silly trouble our city. Now you see, the voice of accusation started. When you deal with the serpent, when you deal with the serpent, when you lit fire, when you begin to address that spirit, a man that is behind your situation, which is a python spirit, the first thing that happens is that once a serpent begins to lose his power over you, the first thing they do is be what? Accusation. Amen. Hallelujah. This is not what I'm going to. I have a lot of things to share with you. But I don't know why the Lord is emphasizing opening things. Every time we pray, God just opens the Bible. And he brought them to the magistrate, saying, These men, being Jews, they are sitting in trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us. Now, he's telling everybody, he said, These men, reporting to everybody, that these men, even to the leaders, that these men are have a custom or have a doctrine that is unbiblical. Amen. Having a doctrine that is unbiblical and this is not. Don't receive them. Amen. And people just said that they chased Paul. They didn't go into details. Now, he says, when they had laid, he said, look at this. And the multi, look at what it says. And verse 21, and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe being Romans. And the multitude rose up together against them. And the magistrate rent their clothes. Do you see that? Rent their clothes, meaning tearing of their garments, tearing of their glory. And commanded to beat them. This is the power of the serpent. Serpent power. And when they had laid many stripes on them, meaning they beat them, they cast them into prison. Now, they were in prison of isolation, captivity. Charging the jailer to keep them safely. Hallelujah. Amen. So you see now that these are men of God who had binded, destroyed that spirit. But that spirit came with so much rage. Now listen to me. When you deal with people who have serpent spirits, they can flatter you. Because I'm telling you something. What we're sharing today was that the serpent has a very strong spirit. They call seduction. The word seduction is not just on sex or lust. But on the spirit of enticing. They can entice. When, the spirit, when that spirit comes upon you, listen to me. The Bible says that the serpent enticed Eve. Eve revealed all her secrets, opened her heart, and began to share too many things. When a serpent, when a serpent, if your friend is under the unction of a serpent, or if your husband is influenced by a woman that is possessed by the serpent, not listen to me. Everything that you do will not be as strong as the woman. Everything that the woman will do for him, it will be very sweet. Whether she cooks for him, whether she has sex with him, the sex will be so sweet. Whether she kisses him, it will be so sweet. It will be very hard for him to break away from that serpent hold. If a woman possessed by a serpent influences your husband, it only takes God and fasting to break him away. If a man or a woman is in a relationship with somebody who is as a serpent spirit, huh? It will take God to liberate you. Because it's so enticing. There are people, when they are in a relationship with a man or a woman who is under this spirit, they don't even know how to keep the secret. Because they are spirit. Now, there are four false prophets. You go to churches. False prophets who are under this anointing. And they ask their member, what did that one say? And they don't even know why they are disclosing to the pastor. It's like David betraying Jonathan. Because that spirit is so strong. It wasn't ordinary when the serpent asked Eve, has God told you not to eat any of this? It was a secret. But Eve did not even know when she started opening her mouth. Serpent, when they speak, their words are so sweet. It's like it's juicy. Full of enticing words. You are beautiful. You are a butter. You are a sugar in my tea. Honey in my cocoa. They can entice. By the time they're done, I mean, that is, uh, what's the word? They can flatter. I use the word flatter. When they flatter you, as sweet as the flattering is, they are, when they accuse you, everybody will believe. In fact, you have no power. That is what we are seeing here. This man was so powerful. Paul, come out of her. Yes, he casted out the spirit. 
But the spirit came after her. Because why he exposed her spirit. And look at what. It wasn't the woman that threw Paul into jail. Everybody began to beat Paul. Everybody even thought Paul was, he, was, was what? False prophet. And they threw him in the prison. Beat Paul. They beat Paul. Lashed him. Naked him. Saw the clothes. Are you serious? Hey, oh, Paul. You know, we didn't read this scripture very well. We just thought this. This is a, as a result of what? Disgracing a python spirit. The word python. Python. Make a research. Hallelujah. What are the manifestations of the serpent? Hallelujah. What are the manifestations? Of, when the serpent is after you or, or is around you, or you're feeling this attack, what are the signs? What are the signs that you are being oppressed by this serpent? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Number one. Number one, number one, number one, number one. Amen. Number one. You feel, amen. You see, one, thing, one nature about the serpent is that the python spirit walks alone. It's not like the birds, they fly in group. The serpent isolates himself. The serpent goes in search of food alone. And that is what, when the snake begins to manifest in your life, it causes you to want to be alone. People can call you, call you. You can ignore your calls. for. You can just ignore a call for a long time. Serpents. Number one, they are unwilling to forgive. The spirit of a serpent causes you to focus on the negative than what will benefit you. That's number one. Number two. When the spirit is oppressing your life, there is a high level of pride and stubbornness. The word pride means you are exalted. You feel like you're right. You feel like that person's opinion is not does not matter. When the stubbornness is there, it's like you cannot you resist corrections. Any opinion that is not like yours, either you hang up, you're not ready to you're not ready to open or to receive. That's no more. No, amen. Hallelujah. The next one is what? Lies. Amen. If you find yourself that you begin to tell lies, tell lies, tell lies, it's like, it's easy, it's telling lies. You are being influenced by that spirit. The serpent spirit, the tongue, lie. You just tell lies easily. The next one, if you always find yourself accusing, 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 like every little thing, accuse, accuse, you don't protect just accuse, accuse, accuse. And it's, it's strong. You're trying to break off from that. But you don't know when it comes upon you. Serpent spirit. Hallelujah. The serpent spirit. I'm dealing with this python spirit because, you see, in the Garden of Eden, God began to speak. And it cursed Adam and Eve because they broke the law. He ate the forbidden fruit. And God commanded them. He says, the day you should eat this fruit, you shall die. Amen. And when he did that, after they broke the rule, a curse came upon them. He looked at he, he looked at the serpent. He says, from today, you will begin to crawl and you will begin to eat what? The dust. Now, be proud to the cross. The serpent was actually walking like animals. But after the curse, they began to crawl. The snake began to crawl. And he says, from today, you will eat the dust. And we are created from the dust. Hallelujah. We are created from the dust. Now, that dust itself is we. We are the dust. So why, what was the mystery behind it? The serpent does not eat dust. It means that as long as we are in the flesh, the serpent can wrap itself around us. The serpent can hold us. The serpent can choke the life of God. Now, the Hebrew word for breath is nima. Numa. Hallelujah. Numa. Amen. And when the enemy comes, this python spirit is to what? To wrap itself and to, and to pull breath out of you. Now, python is the last ultimate poison. It's different. You, can, you have an antidote for poison. You can be rescued easily. But python is very enticing, very slow. When it swallows you, it's only God that will redeem you. God, in the beginning, came and he breathed upon Adam. And the primary aim of the python is to what? To remove breath out of you. To get breath out of you. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Then the other one is what? Weariness. Somebody say weariness. Weariness, powerlessness, and discouragement. Strongest weapon of the python spirit. When this python spirit begins to come upon you, you become very discouraged. You become very tired. Less, you, uh, want, you, you, no motivation in life. You just feel discouraged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The python spirit works with strong familiar spirit. Familiar spirit. Every voodoo priest are empowered by a python spirit. When you entered, when Pharaoh, when Moses entered Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's palace, they were attacked. They, they, they all had serpents. In fact, the Egyptians worship a god, a Horus, which is the third eye, which is the eye, the third eye, they call it the third eye of the Egyptian god. Hallelujah. And Horus, amen, is also a spirit, that which is like a, a seven-head uh, a, a cobra, which they worship. Hallelujah. Let me, let me, let me go further. Hallelujah. Somebody with the somebody with the Python spirit, amen. Somebody with the Python spirit, thank you again. Somebody with the Python spirit, um, um, are always um, they flatter a lot, amen. Hallelujah. I think I've shared that with you, amen. So let me share with you quickly uh, what are the things that the manifestations of it, amen. Ah, uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God, amen. Hallelujah. When a python spirit is operating in your life, what happens? You begin to lose your prayer life. Are you hearing me today? It stops you from reading the Bible. The Bible becomes meaningless to you. You don't even understand the Bible. Amen? Have you have you seen people who struggle with this spirit, this python spirit, they wake up. And when they wake up in the morning, it takes them like close to 20 minutes, 40 minutes to come out of that slumber. What I mean by is they, they get up from the bed, and they're just dazed. They just stare. It's like they want something to shake off from there. They don't know what has come over them. It's like heaviness. They just... They don't know. So you are even saying, get up, let's go. They don't. Something is just wrong. Python spirit. Python spirit. It kills your prayer life. Have you ever felt heaviness? Heaviness. Man, just feel heaviness. What is this heaviness? You feel like a weight is upon you. Python spirit. Do you have fine time struggling to fast? You, you, you've lost the ability of you want to fast, but you can't even fast. Your appetite is like something is going on. And the time when you're not broke, break, you, it's like you're not really hungry anymore. It's the python spirit. Even in praise and worship, you don't feel the flow of God, of the praise of God. You, 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 your heart is not, you just not, you're not in the mood to even worship God. The Python spirit also, it causes you to be easily offended. Oh, that's, it causes you to be very offended. Every little thing. You just, you don't even know what is affecting you. The Python spirit. When the Python spirit is upon your life, listen to me. Your dreams will become vague. Your dreams will be nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. No revelation, no insight or message from God. Just fear, fear, fear. When people who are oppressed with this python spirit, they always are walking in serious fear. Serious fear in the household. Dangerous fear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the, spirit of God, uh, uh, when the python spirit is in operation in your life, it brings a sense of confusion all around you. Confusion. You are so confused. So many things are happening around you. You don't even know what's going on. Hallelujah. This same spirit. Hallelujah. When, when the spirit is when the spirit manifests himself, Python spirit, it will cause you to be so uh, sleepy. Will I use the word slumber? It's like you have slept for seven hours, but the sleep is not enough. It's just sleepy. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm. Hmm. Hallelujah. This serpent manifests himself through sex. If you are seeing some, if somebody, if, listen to me. When you are so attracted to an opposite sex, 
and this guy or this woman is so enticing usually it's a serpent or a python behind it sometimes you are even a woman or a man and you don't, you don't even feel you, are, you feel pure you feel you want to really live for God but then all of a sudden you feel something move in your sexual organs you all of a sudden you feel an urge strong urge to sleep around you feel so aroused it's a spirit the python spirit that does that the python spirit that does that you are okay but then all of a sudden something happens you are suddenly aroused not because you're watching something it's a spirit the next one you are always seeing snakes in your dream if you are dreaming of, that you are being chased in your dream by snakes my god if you see yourself being chased by snakes in your dream you need urgent deliverance not deliverance of, you need urgent deliverance urgent prayers please go and listen to the prayers again today we pray some serious prayers today if you see snakes in your dream that you are about to write an exam you are about to do a project you are about to meet your helpers you are about to go for an interview you are about to and you see snakes in your dream attack it with all of your heart because the enemy is trying to attack your blessings it's about to introduce failure when you see a, a, a release of serpent is a release of evil conspiracy against you when you all of a sudden you're praying all of a sudden you see a vision of snake it means the enemy is releasing accusations against you paul and silas was thrown into the jail after they spoke to the woman who was influenced by this, this, this damn cell who was influenced by the serpents and after that they threw them in jail and they beat them they stripped them naked because they attacked that spirit it's an ancient spirit it's the, it actually is a principality hallelujah hallelujah this serpent spirit amen this serpent spirit always causes you to be very lonely let me tell you something when the serpent wants to destroy you hmm, it isolates you you know how it isolates you it begins to renew or introduce a negative habit negative habit destructive habit i know of a christian brother very anointed who can worship god powerful but when this python is every time he says pastor pray for me i need deliverance can you pray for me can you pray for me? and you pray minister but when these serpents manifest he wants to pull away from everybody you call him he won't want to pick up but then it gets into chronic, chronic masturbation, chronic pornography. Hallelujah. And it, it, it does it so much that by the time it now comes out, after two weeks, it's like his head is, Pastor, can you pray for me? Can you pray for me? That spirit, that's what he does. Isolates a man. And drains life out of you, drains your virtues, bring you down to ground zero. Some people think it's just pleasure when they just masturbate or they watch pornography. You don't even know that the serpent is getting your virtues through whatever you release. The enemy is, is getting your virtues through your wasted glory. The enemy will not come after when you are empty. He comes after when you are really seeking God and he arouses you to take that seed. That is what the serpent was trying to do to Moses. Trying to get that glory out. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm. Amen. Get my number so we pray, my brother. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember of the story. I remember of the story of a brother how a man of God was sharing in one of his messages and he said he went to a university campus back in Nigeria after ministry these brothers these brothers came for him for prayer and he laid hands on one of them one of them began to shout fire 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 and pulled down his pants instead of a male organ it was a snake and the man of God took oil poured it on the head of the snake 
and the snake vanished and he became a normal manhood. There are people who have um, 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 the seed of snakes in them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If you once in your life, in the past, you engage yourself in oral sex so much, in fact, the snakes have entered your life one way or the other. Python spirit has influenced you and you need to pray and break yourself free. Hallelujah. <clears throat> hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Every time this spirit comes, you feel a sense of hopelessness. You become hopeless in everything you do. It's like you're just discouraged. He kills the faith of God in you. Hallelujah. You feel defeated. Amen. Or when, that, when this python spirit has sucked, like a, sucked life out of you. Amen. All of a sudden, where you are experiencing blessings or prosperity, you begin to experience closed doors. Closed doors just begin to appear in your life. Hallelujah. Hmm. You become self-destructive. Hallelujah. Amen. You begin, you, in fact, you lose, you begin to lose the anointing of the Lord. Amen. That is when the, any, this harpet spirit begins to introduce secular problems. You begin to go around in circles. You are driving around. You don't even know why you are driving around. You are going everywhere. You are showing up. You are showing up late. You don't even know what's really going on. Hallelujah. Delays on every side. You begin to experience stagnancy. 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 Hallelujah. You begin to experience setback. Hallelujah. Amen. You begin to experience setback. Hallelujah. Amen. You, 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 when the spirit is upon you, you begin to experience, um, uh, um, you become violated. Violated. Somebody say violated. You become easily violated. Amen. You become rejected. Amen. By people. Hallelujah. You begin to carry this negative aura around you. Everywhere you go, it's like people just, they, they, they come close to you. They want to be nice to you, but they smell that spirit around you. That spirit, that Python spirit begin to, people even get scared. They get fearful to be around you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm. Hallelujah. Violated. You begin abuse. That abusing is just too much. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You begin the sense of inferiority complex. Inferiority complex begin to affect your destiny. Are you hearing me today? Inferiority calls inferiority complex, low self-esteem. Amen. It's as a result of this spirit. Hallelujah. You begin to another 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 factor is that you begin to walk in great fear. In great fear. You begin to walk in great fear. Great fear. Hmm. Hallelujah. Uh, instead of you to exercise the faith of God, you begin to walk in great fear. It's like everything shakes you. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, it also causes you not to receive correction. Or you don't have a teachable spirit. That's one of the spirit of the python. Amen. It's like you don't want to be taught anything. You don't want to be told the truth of who you are. You just want to be left where you are in your mess. Amen. If there anybody tell you something, it's, it's too offensive. You don't have the patience or the, uh, the, 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 the this serpent too also manifests uh, causes you not to walk in love, amen. It causes you to to I won't use the word walk in hate, but causes you to manifest a high level of selfishness. You begin to you 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 it's just only about you. You don't care. You're in your own world. That is this, that that spirit, amen. It, it just it attacks your mind. It arrests your mind. It's like you are thinking, but everybody's are you here? Are you here? But your mind is gone. Hallelujah. That is a python spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. You begin to doubt the world. God give you a prophetic word. You begin to doubt it. You begin to doubt it. Hallelujah. You begin to doubt it. Hallelujah. Amen. What is the next one? Hallelujah. Hmm. Another manifestation of the python spirit is this. We saw in the Bible that in the beginning of Adam and Eve, amen, when the snake came, it began to pervert Eve. Amen. It pervert Eve. And when it perverted Eve, Eve ate the fruit and gave it to Adam. When, Ad, when God came, he says, what happened? Who ate the fruit? He says, Eve was the one, the woman you gave to me. Amen. Thereby, Adam began to accuse the woman. Now, after God left, you know that Eve and Adam would have had an argument. They would have had an quarrel. Eve would have said to Adam, you mean I'm the one that manipulated you? Yes, you're the one that manipulated me. Yes, you're the evil one. Yes, you're this, you're that. So, it went back and forth. Now, that is what the serpent does. It brings you disunity in the body of Christ. It makes the brother to fight against the brother, brother against the father, 
father against the brother, prophets, young prophets against father prophets. Amen. This pride begins to manifest all kinds of unteachableness in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. It begins to cause marital delay, strong marital delay, strong marital instability when the python spirit is in charge of that nonsense. Amen. Um, 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 how he manipulates is that you're not willing to accept your wrong, you're not willing to accept who you are. You know, it's like when the serpent begins to manifest, it's like you just want your own thing. High level selfishness. Amen. Amen. They cause spiritual delay. Amen. On our God given assignment. God gives you an assignment. Amen. Or you have your own personal assignment to do some things. The Sabbath power delays, delays divine projects. Amen. Hallelujah. And Sabbath power is so strong in reviving bitterness, reviving the history of bitterness and hurt. Amen. It's, this thing has happened like five months ago, one year ago. But this Sabbath spirit begins to revive it, revive it. Why God uses the blood to cover your past? The Sabbath revives what has happened in the past, what has been forgiven, and you begin to replay it in your mind. It is a, it is a serpent. Every time you're feeling like that, it's a serpent that is influencing your thoughts. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. They become very rigid, like I told you, very rigid, meaning they hate correction. They just, they don't, they don't, they don't like teachableness. When they say something to you, you want to tell them another thing, <laughs> please, and they just hang up. They don't feel conviction that they've done it. They've done it wrong. Amen? Is that spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hmm. Uh, they are very strong in intimidation. They intimidate you. When they speak, you feel a sense of fear. It's like that fear controls, controls you. Amen. Hallelujah. They are very manipulative. Very manipulative. Hallelujah. Amen. Very manipulative. That spirit, when it begins to manipulate, it can influence you to see a friend as an enemy and see your enemy as a friend. That's what it does. It manipulates you to see your friend as an enemy and see your enemy as a friend. Amen. It is very, 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 very diabolic. That spirit. Very diabolic. Amen. Hallelujah. When a friend comes into your life, when introduces you and bring you to your church, you will think that the enemy, you will think that that friend wants to sleep with you. And when an enemy comes into your life, amen, you think that the enemy is there to be nice to you, but the enemy wants to sleep with you. It just, it's just, it's just crazy. Hallelujah. And the enemy, when he comes into your life, amen, hallelujah, you will think it's so nice to be like Eve. He came to Eve and began to ask Eve, as God commanded you not to eat any of this fruit. And before you know it, Eve began to reveal everything. Reveal, reveal. That snake can enter your friend. Your friend can entice your husband, entice your wife. And, he's, and they are gone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. They promote that spirit also too. When the spirit is present, they are very critical. People with such spirit, that python spirit, influenced by this spirit, are very critical. They are critical of everything. If one thing happened, they are criticized. This person is criticized. This person you know, they criticize. Every little thing they criticize, 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 criticize. Like they are perfect. Amen. They just criticize everything. Is this <laughs> Hallelujah? Amen. Um, um, people who are under this spirit, who their hearts are hardened. Amen. Their hearts are hardened, not tender. Their heart is not soft. Now, when we use the word hardened, meaning you can say I'm sorry, a person might forgive, but because that spirit is there, it will cause them to remember the wrong you've done and. Making them inability to walk in love and to let go of your past. Hallelujah. Um, uh, okay, they can cause you if you are attacked by the spirit, like we saw in the book of we saw in that scripture. Amen. How um, uh, in Acts chapter sixteen, verse sixteen, he talked about how in um, after Paul and Casa spit out of her. Amen. All of a sudden, we see that Paul and uh, Silas was despised by men. They were whipped, she, I mean, they were disgraced, they were stripped naked. Hallelujah. Their clothes were torn. Hallelujah. They were looked like a criminal. People who, look, who were honorable men of God were now despised. That is what that spirit does. It causes men to be reproachable. It causes you to be re reproached by men. Hallelujah. When you attack this spirit or you expose this spirit, you have to be very, 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 you have to pray in all directions because you know that spirit is very, very, now, now I'm talking about this message. I have to also pray because I know the devil is being exposed now. And I know I'm preparing for major war. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, you will not suffer backlash in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Those who suffer with this spirit, who are manipulated and influenced by this spirit, they also 
uh, go through chronic viral abuse. Amen. These serpent always release chronic viral abuse. They can talk, 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 and they can insult you when they see, when they get angry. When the words begin to come out, you 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 can't find those words in the Bible. It's like, what are you saying? What are you saying? It's so annoying, so provoking. It can bring the worst out of you. Hallelujah. They begin to talk some things. They begin to vomit poison, poisonous words. And you're wondering, how did they put these words together? Very hurtful. These are spirits of the python. If you are influenced by the spirit, amen, influenced by the spirit, any small thing, you begin to vibrate. And the words you say are, so, are like knives. You are, you are under the strong influence of a python. Hallelujah. Amen. Sexual abuses. When you are under this influence of this python spirit, you might not be aroused. But the aura that you are carrying will be so strong that even women will want to sleep with you. The aura will be so strong. Even men cannot keep their hands together. They just want to touch you. This python spirit, if it begins to manifest in your life, men will not take you serious. All they want to do is to sleep with you. And they sleep with you, they are not satisfied. They sleep and sleep till they get that spirit and they themselves, people want to sleep with them. And those kind of people, is, is you have to really pray that spirit out of your life. Because you, 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 you get married, the man will sleep with you and that spirit will start influencing the man and before you know, people too will be coming after him because of the influence of that spirit. It's very enticing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When this python spirit is so strong upon you, you might go to a man of God. Say, man of God, please pray for me. He's of him praying for you. He'll start touching you. Touching you, touching you. But that spirit is so strong. So strong upon you. It causes emotional, abu emotional abuse. When this python spirit is in operation, you will, you will see people begin to abuse you emotionally. You yourself will come under emotional abuse. You won't even know why you're having mood swings. Your mood is unstable. Unstable mood. It's like schizophrenia spirit. You're happy. One second. Next second, you're moody. Why? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mental abuse. Mental abuse. Physical abuse. Spiritual abuse. Amen. Such people who are under this influence, all of a sudden, they begin to lose things. You begin to lose things. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You begin to compromise. And the next one is that you gossip a lot. When the spirit is oppression, you begin to gossip. Gossip. Hallelujah. Like I told you before, when the spirit, the Bible says in Job 20 verse 15, He has swallowed and riches, and it shall vomit them up again. And the Lord shall cast them out of his belly. Now, this spirit... Is a, is a spirit of greed. When the spirit comes, it begins to cause men to walk in high level of greed. You just want to take, 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 take. You're not, you're not content. Hallelujah. Take from people. It means that you'll be in a blessing. Hallelujah. And the next one is a high level of rebellion. When the spirit is, comes upon your children or your husband or wherever it is, whoever is influenced by this python spirit. If there's a python spirit, is upon your friend and it begins to influence you. No matter what a pastor tells you, no matter what a prophet tells you, I hope my battery is okay. Uh, because I think my phone is about to die. Um, let, me, let me round up quickly. I'm about to finish. Amen. Hallelujah. Just in case my battery dies. I think it's about 5% now. Lord Jesus, hold my battery in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please bear with me in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I know many of you are enjoying the message, but we have to go. Hallelujah. Jesus, help us. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. When this spirit is in operation, listen to me. Look at what, look at what happened in the, in the Garden of Eden. It was the snake that influenced Eve. Eve ate of the apple. They had the forbidden fruit. When Eve ate, he ate that poison from the serpent. Hallelujah. Adam ate. They conceived. Now, remember, God told Samson's mother, if you've been following us a few days ago, not to eat anything or claim. Now, on this case, the serpent influenced Adam and Eve. They ate. That was when Eve. Why was the serpent troubling them? It troubled them so that 
Eve and Adam does not know each other. He wanted them to eat the forbidden fruit before they know each other. And they, they ate the forbidden fruit and guess what happened? They produced Cain. When Cain came out, it was a seed off from the forbidden fruit. And the Bible says Cain came out and God even spoke. And Cain refused to hear the word of God. Became jealous of Abel and killed Abel. Listen, Python spirit is what causes people to murder each other. It's what causes people to walk in witchcraft and kill and terminate their brothers, terminate their mother, terminate their father, terminate their brothers. That was what happened. Abel was killed. Abel was called by God, anointed by God, approved by God. Everything he did pleased the Lord. Sacrifices pleased God. But guess what? That serpent went after Abel, caught his life. Influence came to destroy uh, Abel. Are you hearing me? The spirit that influenced Eve is the spirit that influenced Cain to kill Abel. Strong spirit of Python spirit. If it's in your family, it can influence your brother that you love so much to kill you. You don't think that Abel loved Cain? He loved Cain so much with all of his heart. But some, even God warned Cain, be careful, evil is in your heart. But he, Cain, Cain could not listen. You know when God, it wasn't a man of God that spoke to Cain. It was God that spoke to Cain. But Cain, heart was so hardened because of the python spirit. And went, killed Abel. And from that moment, what happened? The spirit that influenced Cain brought him to what? A place of what? A vagabond spirit. Cain became what? Vagabond. He became alone. He was going around, going everywhere. A curse was upon him. A stigma was upon him. That is what happens. When, a, when you are operating under that spirit, you become a vagabond. You begin to have a vagabond Christian life unstable hallelujah amen causing people to undermine the authority of god in your, upon your life amen this spirit also too releases what they call demonic prophecy amen in the case of the woman in the scripture amen that damn said the bible says she, she began to she was a uh, 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 she walked in like a thorn amen hallelujah she was a, a susia she was a susia susia means she was a seer amen hallelujah she was a prophet she was a prophetess hallelujah Many prophets, amen. You see some families, amen, hallelujah, who practice voodoo, who practice uh, witchcraft, amen, hallelujah, but they can see into the future. Their great grandfather, all of them can see, amen. They don't even need to be Christians, they can see mothers and prophets. Why? It is that spirit, that spirit, divination, the, the divine, amen, hallelujah. They can see into the future, hallelujah. And um, this is that spirit that empowers witches, it is a spirit that empowers witches and wizards, hallelujah. It's a very, very uh, it was empowers false prophets. Amen. That they come, they start prophesying and the rest. It's that spirit. And it's very, very clever. Oh, my, my, my it's going to be shutting down in 30 minutes, in 30 seconds. Everybody, God bless you. Love you. I finished the message. Amen. My, the, the phone is shutting down now. My battery is dead. So love you guys. Amen. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Wow. It, 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 didn't, it didn't die off. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I just plugged it in and charged it in. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. What time is it? 7.20. Okay. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. We must pray and really release ourselves. Listen to me. Uh, um, when you see this, if when you see this huge, huge one, one time in my life, I came under strong, strong spirit of accusation that almost destroyed or wiped off my ministry. Proud to that, God gave me a revelation. I, I was just talking with some people and ministering with some people. And all of a sudden, some people were shouting. So as I looked back, as I turned back to see what was, what was coming to my direction. It was a huge, 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 huge snake coming across the fence, greenish, big, and came before us. So I was behind, I was in front of the people, like teaching them. And as I looked, I saw this big snake come. And as I, I looked, I was shocked. It was greenish, but it was huge. I can't describe it. But when he opened his mouth, his neck, the way his neck swole up. It's not, this, is not, this is not cobra, well, this was python. But the way it swelled up, the neck region, it was like a whole, it was like a one bedroom house, just big and i was like what is this creature but it was snake long snake big snake 
And I just, and I wasn't scared. When I woke up, I was like, wow. But I knew that it got to be a principality. I've never seen a snake that size. Not even in television. Never in, in all of my life. Never. Where did this snake come from? And who is this snake? And I left it. I just played around. I didn't want And I went into seasons of serious, serious, serious accusation that could actually destroy my ministry. Thank God. God rescued me. That spirit can cause you to question your character in God. Listen to me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me show you something quickly. And this is the last thing, and there we go. Hallelujah. The last thing. I've kept you a year for a long time. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Zade badada badosh. paradas. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This is the last scripture we read, and then we go. Acts chapter 20, 28. Acts 28, verse 1. Acts 28, verse 1. Acts chapter 28, verse 1. Amen. Acts chapter 28, verse 1. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I don't know why all the phones are dying. All every, every phone are just battery, battery life. Lord, help us. Amen. Uh, Acts chapter 1, Acts chapter 28. Amen. Acts chapter 28. I read from verse 1. Hallelujah. You see, prior to this, um, I wanted to read this, but I think, uh, let me just be in a hurry, amen? But actually, at 28, verse 1, it says, when they appeared, now, before you come to the scripture, you realize that something was very, very unique. In Acts chapter 27, we see something that was very, very specific. God appeared to Paul, and he told Paul, he says, everybody on this boat will not die. Hmm? You're going to experience some shipwreck, but nobody's going to die. I've committed everyone under your hands. Paul was confident by this prophecy, by the angel of the Lord. And he told, he told them, he said, listen, God has said this. They were even begging him. He was fasting. But they were begging him, pleading with him to eat. Hallelujah. In verse 28, in chapter 28, verse 1, it says, Now when they escaped, they were escaped. Then they knew that the island was called Melita. All this, the devil wanted to kill Paul. But they wanted to use the waters, the rivers to kill Paul. An angel to appear and he says, nope, you will not die. Hmm? God preserved Paul. Just like God, the river wanted to kill Jesus. Preserved Paul's life. Now, Paul came to the island of Martin Malita. People began to believe that he's a man of God. Verse 2. And the barbarous people show us no little kindness. For they kindled the fire, received all, every one of us, because of the present rain and because of the cold. Now, Strangers, people who did not know Paul, came around and were trying to show favor to Paul and his fellow people who were with Paul. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. You know, it's, it's not how funny, after the death experience you escaped, now you're trying to rest, trying to warm up yourself, and snake comes again. You mean in the cold, you didn't die. Now he lit fire, now you're appearing. <laughs> every time you want to grow in God, the snake will appear. Every time you want to appear and go in deeper in things with God, that is what happens. The snake showed up. And the Bible says, Then there came a viper out of the heat. Not any kind of snake now. The most poisonous snake came out and fastened on his hand, fastened on the hand of Paul. Hallelujah. And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast, look at this now, on, hang on, the, on his hand. Now this is a man of God. They believed him. They said among themselves, no doubt this man is a murderer. 
can you say this man is a murderer? The man just got sticks to warm up himself. And right there, you didn't see snakes in his hand. All of a sudden, snakes just appeared in the hand. And you're calling this man a murderer? That scripture is just not baffled you? It means that every time snake, every time you suffer accusation, every time somebody calls you things that you should not be, is because a python spirit is manifesting that. A python spirit caused Adam to say, God, it is the woman you gave me. Adam began to accuse Eve. When your husband begins to accuse you, there is a python influencing your husband. When your children begin to say, Mom, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. They are influenced by the python spirit. It is the python spirit that causes people to be very rebellious to authority and to their pastors and their ministers. They began to say, no doubt, this man is a murderer. What did he do? How is he a murderer? Because a snake wrapped around the hands? You see how a negative energy can change your calling. People can begin to see you in a different light. Now, hallelujah. Whom they thought he had escaped the sea. He said, no doubt, this man is a murderer. Whom though he had escaped the sea, yet virgin suffered not to leave. He shook up the business with the fire and felt no harm. After the snake left him, look at what they said. Verse 6. How bet they looked when he should have swollen, fall down dead, suddenly. But after they had looked a great while, after they waited for a while, they studied him. Saw no harm come to him. They changed their mind. And they said what? He's a God. <laughs> now they are saying he's a man of God. Until your snake leaves you, people will not see the grace of God on your life. Until the serpent departs from your life. Nobody will see the giftings of God in your life. That is why when you go to work, people will ask other people to clock in. And you don't, you don't do that kind of crap. They are clocking in, but they are not there. They don't get into trouble. You just go and take five minutes break and everybody is screaming your head. One small issue, you are the only person they want to fire. It is the power of the serpent. Every little thing, this, you are, it's only you, it's only you, it's only you, it's only you. Why are you? The serpent spirit. The moment Paul shook the snake out, they looked at him, he's a god. When the snake was in his hand, is a, a murderer. Remember, he didn't wrap around the leg, the hand, which symbolizes labor, which symbolizes harvest, which symbolize what? The ability to receive is ministry, to impart and to receive. Whatever manipulated the snake to get to the hand of Paul was the major devil that entered the python spirit from the beginning. And he wanted to squeeze life out of Paul. I am praying for you. I said one thing earlier today when we were in the, in the prayer line. I'm going to say it again. If your husband or your boyfriend or your fiance or your fiance is held by the python spirit, either by dream or seduced by somebody who has that spirit on them if your wife or your husband is in extramarital affair and that woman has a python spirit my sister my brother you just pray because god, it's only god that will deliver them because everything that is done by that agent of the devil on that python spirit is sweet they can dream they can see Everything, they, even if they are sleeping around or fornicating, they will still be having dreams of revelation. They will still be seeing to the future. And it, <laughs> everything, including sex, everything, will be so enticing to your husband or to your whatever that they can't break away. 
even if they are talking, just talking on the phone, it will be so sweet that if your wife or your husband says, don't talk to her again, you cannot break away because they are enticed by the spirit, the Python spirit. Hmm. Oh boy. It, it, we'll save that topic for another day. In Jesus' name. It's 7.30 now. We got to go. Hallelujah. We have to go. We have to go. Hallelujah. Well, let's take time and begin to ask God. Lord, every covenant, every power of the enemy over my life by the Python spirit. Lord, any, every power and dominion, every power and authority of the Python spirit and serpent spirit over my life and my children. Over my life and my, and my family. Over my marital life. Lord, break it by fire. Lord, break it by fire. Go ahead and begin to pray. Every hold of the Python spirit over my life, I break it by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this loud and clear. Say, my father. Anywhere I've been tied down. By the powers of this serpent. I release myself by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I release myself by fire. I release myself by fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I, I, I have to go. I have to run. Amen. Happy, hallelujah. We did extensive, if you're just joining us, we did extensive prayers on uh, the, the, on the, we did the extensive prayers on the prayer line. And if you want to go rewatch it, rewatch the periscope in the beginning. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to advise uh, my brother who will be editing the, the video. Amen. Please do it part one and part two. Amen. The part one should be the message and part two should be the prayers. Hallelujah. Part one, because we're going to put it on YouTube. Amen. Hallelujah. Part one should be the message and part two should be the uh, the prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you. Amen. If you're not on our peri uh, WhatsApp, I will advise you to join us. Amen. I will advise you to join us. Just send me a text if you want to join us. Amen. The number will be on the screen. If you want to join us on Periscope, on WhatsApp, on WhatsApp. Please, um, you will see the, the, the number. Hallelujah. Shoot me a text and I will add you on WhatsApp. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, again, the number is 952. The prayer line number 952-955-9454. Those who are watching us on YouTube, please. And my number also is there. 612-701-5983. Privilege. Give you my personal number. I won't do that again. But hallelujah. The next six months is going to change. Amen. Hallelujah. So, get this number. If you need prayers, call me and then we'll talk about it. Well, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Lord loves you. Amen. You are strong. If we're coming to New York, we're coming to New York, it's going to be, it's going to be ferocious. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be bloody. Coming to New York on between the 11th and the 12th. I don't know why 12th is my particular number. Beautiful, powerful number. Every time I'm having a conference, it always falls on the 12th. I did not plan it. Amen. The pastor... The Brazilian pastor in New York gave us the number and uh, gave us the date and wants us to come around that time. So if you're around that area, please come. We're going to be doing foot washing, dangerous foot washing. We'll be beating your feet in oil, dipping your feet in oil, which is prosperity, breaking the shackles of lack and backwardness. Amen. God will prepare you to walk in divine speed and acceleration in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. Really, on the 10th of November, God bless you. God bless you. It's going to be powerful it's going to be bloody it's going to change the skin of your color amen you will never be the same you will come victorious and the spirit of fear will jump out of your spirit in the name of jesus christ god is raising a new army a new generation a new, a new generation of warriors the elijah anointed the elijah company and the elijah fire will be displayed like never before god will grace everyone will be dressed with glory in jesus name and whatsoever portion that was stolen from your life god will begin to cause massive restoration upon you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you receive this prayer? Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. 
my sister from Georgia, you, from Augusta. You just joining us or you joined us long time? Huh? You know I'm talking to you. You want me to call your name? <laughs> oh, praise God. Praise God. Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so happy to see everybody. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. We'll talk afterward. Okay. Cell phone. <laughs> Cell phone. iPad. House phone. You name it. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. You, 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 it's, it's a deep topic. It's a deep topic. Everybody go and watch that topic again. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, my sister. You missed the first part. Go and rewatch it again. I am telling you, it was something else. Please, if you listen to the message afterward, make sure you pray the messages. Pray the prayer. Send it to friends. Send it to your loved ones. Amen. Get engaged. Amen. Save the prayers to be on YouTube so that you can find the time to fast, get into three days, and break this power. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We well, love you guys. God bless you. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Amen. Can you just declare that blood over me right now? Straight forth your hands and pray for me. Amen. Every form of backlash, every form of attack after this message, every force of reinforcement, let it scatter in the name of Jesus. Zodebe, Rakabia Pradosh. Lord, by the power and the Holy Ghost, I take complete dominion and I hide in your blood. I shatter the plans of the devil. I scatter every satanic trap. I scatter every ploy of the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ, every sabotage strategy against me, I destroy your power by the blood of Jesus Christ. I destroy every antiques of the devil. I destroy every demonic strategy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you now. I love you guys now. Bye bye. I love you too. Thank you. Bless you too. Have a blessed day. Blessings now. Bye bye. You too now. God bless you. Thank you. Bless you now. Bye bye. Oh, bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. On Periscope, you are loved. Amen. I declare the blessings of God upon your life. I declare the hand of God upon you. May you be strong. Rise from glory to glory. May you be victorious. Every killer that appears as a python in your dream, I kill them with fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every wealth that was stolen out of your life, every opportunity that was captured from your life, I speak restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command the mood swings, I command your brain that was being attacked by this python spirit to lose your mind in the name of Jesus Christ. The powers that began to manifest to control your mind mind controlling spirits of the python i break it in the name of jesus christ i release you from that hold of the devil i release you now from the evil covering in the name of jesus i release you from that evil addiction by the power in the blood of jesus christ every serpent manifesting at your place of job man turning people against your life turning your helpers against you i break such powers in the name of jesus christ i destroy such demonic authority in the by the power in the blood of jesus christ i say right now let the poison of the python that is hiding itself in your body i command to loose you and let you Go. in the name of jesus christ let the fire of god break out to your system i shake off the python into the fire in the name of jesus christ i decree that you are free every python that is manifesting that is that is manipulating your children against you manipulating stubbornness in the midst of your children i kill the python spirit i destroy the python spirit in the name of jesus christ thank you holy ghost i thank you holy ghost in jesus name we pray amen you are blessed may the heaviness break and loose you now in jesus name we pray amen Amen. 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 May I be blessed now. Love you guys. Bye-bye.